The traditional uh, Nissan funnel application has been around. Um, the results are, uh, have been good, uh, data is strong. Uh, what we've seen is patients have initially after the Nissan difficulty with dysphagia, the gas bloat, um, and the difficulty with burping. So this uh, TIF and CTIF accomplish um, the similar results and outcome without um, the side effects of dysphagia and the gas bloat. And the difference is the Nissan wrap is a 360 degree wrap and the TIF wrap is 270. So I explained, I think I discussed with the, my colleagues and patients that we're establishing or trying to have a balance between just enough of a wrap to um, decrease acid reflux, decrease GERD, but not too tight that the patient have problems swallowing and difficulty burping. Um, if you're looking at the results, um, the results for the patient is very similar. Um, subjectively, the patient feels well. Um, after TIF and CTIF, the patient has um, minimal symptoms. We're able to get them off the PPI. I think if you're looking at objective results um, with the pH uh, study, the Nissan fund application may accomplish better results and higher percentage of normalization of pH results than TIF and CTIF. Um, but we are, uh, the CTIF and TIF is without the complications. So um, if you're looking at the studies for TIF, um, normalizing pH, the results aren't going to be as good. Um, but if you're looking for um, patient outcome, it's just that balance that you're able to accomplish with the procedure.